Hey y'all, I'm a little bit late to the party on what we're gonna cook today, but we're gonna give it a go anyway. We're gonna do the swine apple. We're gonna take a pineapple, we're gonna wrap it in ribs, and we're gonna slow smoke it on the big green egg using some apple wood. So let's get to it. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and get the rub on the ribs. I'm gonna use some lemon pepper and some butt rub. Not really going to use a binder. Don't don't need one. <clears throat> and yeah, I did just put my nasty hand on the on the bottle, but I'll wash it off before I put it away. <clears throat> so what we're going to do is we're going to cook these at 250 degrees for about five hours. All right, so I got my ribs all, all coated up. So let's get the ribs out of the way. We're not gonna need the ribs for a few more minutes. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do with our pineapple is we're gonna cut the top off of it. We're gonna try to cut nice and straight. Okay, there's our top. We'll set that out of the way. We'll reuse it after a while. Now we're gonna cut the bottom off. We'll try to get a nice straight cut on the bottom so it'll sit up pretty on the grill. All right, so there's our cut pineapple. All right, now what we're gonna do is just peel the pineapple. Feels a little bit awkward, but doing it for the camera so you guys can see how I'm peeling it. Should say how y'all can see how I'm peeling it. Okay, so there we have one peeled pineapple. Okay, let's put some butt rub on our pineapple. So now our butt is rubbed on the pineapple. Now the easy part. Let me get the ribs back over here, get some room made, and we'll be right back. Okay, so here's my pineapple. And here's my ribs. And I got some skewers soaking in some water in the sink. And I'm going to pull the ribs around. And that's going to be, that's almost going to be perfect. Just a little short from going all the way. So I'm gonna wrap them like that. Run a skewer down in there, hold everything together. Okay, so we got it all skewered up. We get the grill up to 250 degrees and we'll commence to cooking. And there sits our not yet cooked swine apple. All right, we got our temperature up to 250 degrees. Let's go ahead and put our swine apple on the grill. Okay, we're uh, an hour and a half into our cook. Just want to take a look at it. Man, don't that look good. Mm, mm, mm. Yep, 
Yep, that looks real good. All right, let's close her back down and let it keep on okay. cooking. So we've been at this for just about three hours now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut these skewers off because now we're gonna wrap it. And I do have my, my high temperature gloves on. Starting to get a little draw going off the bone. All right, now I'm gonna take it and put it on my tin foil. Man, that smells good. That smells real good. All right, we're going to wrap it. And we're going to leave it on here for about another hour and a half. And then we're going to eat. While we're waiting on the swine apple to cook, uh, just wanted to remind y'all that I will put a link to Thumber Pro down in the description and you can go to their website and they have all kind of cool gadgets to help you when you're cooking and just keeping up with the weather outside your house or inside your house. Use coupon code DBB15, Dennis Backyard Barbecue DBB15, to get 15% off of anything you buy. Also, we are an Amazon affiliate. I'll put the generic Amazon link in the description as well. Uh, anything you buy from Amazon when you're using that link, you will help the channel. Also, I will put the recipe for the swine apple down in the description. And uh, that's pretty much it for now. Let's get back to cooking. Okay. All right, we've been wrapped for about an hour and a half. So we got some juicy juicy going on. Let's unwrap it, see what we got. Oh man, that's, that looks good. So what I'm gonna do now, is I'm gonna put it back on the grill and I'm gonna leave it on there for about another 30 to 45 minutes to firm that bark up and they're drawn off the bone really well. So 30 to 45 minutes from now, it's gonna be time to eat. Okay. That's the last 30 minutes. Let's take it off. How's that look? Let's take it in the house and see what it tastes like. All right, y'all. Here it is, our swine apple. So I'm gonna take this off and get it out of the way. Let's unwrap the ribs from around the pineapple. Set the pineapple out the way. Now, those ribs look good. So what I want to do, I want to cut me one out to kind of around the middle here. If I can find a place that ain't got a bone. Hmm. Ma'am. That is good. Four and a half hours. Mm. And I've cooked with pineapple before and it's kind of digested the meat on me, which made it not be really great. This is perfect. This is perfect, perfect, perfect. Let me take this bite. Mm. Get a little slice of the pineapple. Mmm. 
Applewood smoked pineapple. It's good. It's real good. Okay, that was my pineapple wrapped ribs, swine apple. They were really good. Uh, that pineapple didn't taste bad either. Uh, anyway, until next time I see y'all at the grill, y'all keep on grilling.